I'm Richard Southern in the 680 Newsroom. Canada Goose is planning to sell something now other than parkas, but the price tag may still leave you with some sticker shock. So for those who have uh, ever bought a Canada Goose winter jacket before, you know the story. It's uh, mighty expensive, about 700 bucks for one of those parkas. Now the Toronto-based company is taking its first step outside of the outerwear category. It's going to be launching a line of sweaters. And if you think now, finally, I can afford a Canada Goose something, uh, think again. The sweaters will be priced at $650 a pop. According to the Globe and Mail, Canada Goose, though, seems confident that consumers will be ready to open up their wallets. Turns out the sweater category is in. North American knitted sweater sales were up 3.7% last year. Well, Canada has now outlined its uh, desires for the NAFTA renegotiation process, the things it wants to see in the renegotiation agreement. But... Uh, mightn't get what we want, not at least according to some top U.S. officials who are weighing in on this. The Canadian government has uh, released priorities. Uh, they include fewer Buy American rules for public contracts and freer movements of professionals. However, a former official who oversaw procurement for the U.S. Trade Office says good luck with that. It's a long shot for Canada, he says, because American politics is moving in the opposite direction right now. Trump was elected on a promise to increase Buy American rules not reduce them. All right here's a cool story. Air France has announced today that it will give its business and first class passengers virtual reality goggles when they fly. The idea is to recreate the movie theater experience 35,000 feet in the air. Of course those uh, goggles wrap around your head, they block out all your peripheral distractions and so they create kind of a private movie viewing experience, kind of a cool way I suppose to pass the time when you're on the plane. Won't come cheap though. A business class ticket from Toronto to Paris on Air France will run you between five and seven thousand dollars one way. Right. Meantime, it's the mistake we may be making at work when we email. A new study is out showing you may want to be careful about how casual you make your work emails. Researchers from Amsterdam University found that including emojis in work emails may make your colleagues think you're less competent than you actually are and may make them less likely to share information with you. I'd never make a mistake like this. The experiment also demonstrated a degree of sexism in the interpretation of the use of emojis. When the gender of the sender was unknown, recipients were more likely to assume the email was sent by a woman if it included some smiley faces. So watch out with uh, the emojis in your emails. Again, I would never uh, dare do something like that. Finally, good news for introverts and for those who love pizza. Pizza vending machines now a thing. This is what Little Caesars Pizza is rolling out in the U.S. Basically, the idea is you order your pizza online. After your pizza is made, it's put into one of these slots. It keeps your pie warm. When you show up, you punch in a three-digit code, retrieve your pizza without any human interaction. No chit-chat, just pizza. No word on if this technology is coming to Canada anytime soon. They call it the Pizza Portal. In the 680 Newsroom, Richard Southern, City News.